Rain, wind, cold temps, as you mentioned, and then snow for the higher elevations. And taking a look at the uh, radar this evening, it is still falling out there. So a uh, thousand oaks getting a little bit of a break, but as you move closer to the 405, even up into Santa Clarita, some moderate showers moving through this evening. Higher elevations, you are still seeing some snow. So Wrightwood seeing some light flurries. Crestline right now, only rain, but as you head into Running Springs and Big Bear, you are continuing to see uh, some light snow flurries falling for you tonight. Corona, Riverside, uh, even down into Lake Elsinore, seeing some light showers falling over the 15 and into Los Angeles. Look at this. No one is missing out on that rain. Downey, Lakewood, even into Inglewood, all continuing to see that moisture. So we do have some watches, warnings, even advisories in place. A winter weather advisory still in effect for our higher elevation. So anywhere from four to eight inches of snow expected above 6,000 feet. That is going to linger through tomorrow. And keep in mind, there's also a lot of wind as well. So any travel in the higher elevation going to be a little bit dicey over the next day or so. And then look at this, a flood advisory still in effect for many of us this evening through about 915 because of all of that moisture we've continuing to see falling. So heavy rainfall is going to be in the mix for us over the next couple hours. Temperature is pretty chilly out there too. So this storm is bringing us a little bit of everything. We've had the rain, we've had the wind and some cold temps out there. Pasadena coming in 45, Covina 48, Fullerton a little bit warmer for you at 15. So all of this is thanks to this closed low we are seeing off of the West Coast. You can see all of that moisture uh, continuing to wrap around this low pressure system. As that continues to happen, we have another round of rain moving in tomorrow. So daytime up in the corner here, you can see Saturday evening, those showers continue to move east. Then we'll get a little bit of a break overnight. Still going to be cloudy before once again another system moves in, or I should say uh, more showers from the same system move in tomorrow. You can see starting in Ventura County slowly moving east over the course of the day. Some moderate pockets will be in the mix. Also a chance for some of us to see some thunderstorms and then tapering off as we head into Sunday evening. Uh, now look what happens after that. We've all been waiting for another warm up comes our way. So tomorrow highs only making it to the low 60s. We are still uh, below average. Then a nice warm up comes for us by midweek back in the 70s by Tuesday and then just flirting with those upper 70s, low 80s by the time we roll into the end of the week. All right, valleys, Inland Empire, low 60s tomorrow, jumping into the 80s by Tuesday. So really nice conditions for you midweek. We just kind of get through the next day. Then by the beaches, shower chances linger tomorrow, low 60s for you. And then back in the 70s by Wednesday, the mountains is going to be a chilly one tomorrow, only making it to the 40s, back in the 50s by Monday. And then finally in the deserts, really windy. We've noticed a lot of wind from this system that continues to tapering off as you head into midweek. So Jory and Michelle, warmer temps are coming, just not in time for the weekend.